Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be showing you how to install Ubuntu Touch on a OnePlus 6 or 6T. Even if you don't have this specific device, I'm hoping this video will still be very helpful, whether you're installing on a completely different Android device or if you're installing a completely different Linux distro. So let's take a look. If you're enjoying my content, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, PeerTube, and follow me on Odyssey. You can also support me on LiberaPay, Patreon, and by shopping at Earth Hero. See links in the description below. Alright, so the first step is to unlock your phone. And this is gonna differ depending on what phone you have and what network provider you're using. You also may want to check out the official Ubuntu Touch devices list. There are already a lot of devices that work with the official UB ports installer. For me, with my OnePlus 6T using T-Mobile, I actually had to do quite a few steps just to unlock my phone. So if you've already got your phone unlocked, you can skip this step. So the very first step is to enable OEM unlocking. And you do that by enabling developer mode in your device settings. So typically if you go to your phone settings about phone and repeatedly tap the build number you'll see developer options as an option in your system settings which you can then use to enable oem unlocking but once you enable oem unlocking on t-mobile specifically you're gonna have to do something called a network unlock so on the oneplus 6t I had to go to settings, Wi-Fi and internet, SIM and network, and then choose advanced or network unlock. I had to just essentially ask them for permission by choosing select permanent unlock. And then T-Mobile has to do a, some sort of check and they complete the task right away. Of course, you can only do this unlock if you've paid your phone in full. So keep that in mind. Once you've had T-Mobile do a network unlock and you've set your phone to enable OEM unlocking, the next step is to actually start the process of unlocking Fastboot on your phone. So far, the work we've done is just preliminary work. This XDA developers article asks you to first set up ADB and what adb is is that it gives you android debug tools i guess it technically stands for android debug bridge but this lets you play around and do things with your android phone to set it up on linux depending on your os if you're on an arch based distro you can usually go to the r repositories and find it there but as i did this on pop os you can just use this command line here sudo app get install android tools dash adb and just like that you'll have all the tools you'll need for these next steps here now this step two also says okay once you've got that installed you can just do fast boot oem unlock and that may work for certain phones but in our case we have to jump through a few more hoops so like it says here the oneplus 6t is no different unless you're using the t-mobile edition and just my luck that's what i've got here now that we've got adb installed now it's time to plug in your phone to your pc and as you can see here i tried running fastboot oem unlock but i get a failed error that says please flash unlock token first and here's where it gets kind of confusing because there's a difference between the unlock token and the unlock code so the next step here is to generate the unlock code and I did that by typing in fastboot OEM get unlock code. And this code I'm going to need to send to OnePlus so that they can provide me the unlock token. I'm also going to need to grab my phone's IMEI and you can typically find that in your phone's settings. Then I'm going to have to go to OnePlus.com, create an account, enter my IMEI, my unlock code. And then seven days later, OnePlus is going to email me the unlock token once you get the unlock code from oneplus now you can begin to actually flash it onto your device and so you do that by typing in fastboot flash cust unlock unlock underscore code dot bin once you run that command then the last step is to run the fastboot oem unlock command and finally your phone's bootloader is unlocked all right, now we are ready to begin downloading the files that we'll need 
for this uh, installation. So if you go to the UB Ports One Plus Six documentation on GitHub, this is going to be a very helpful guide, and it's going to give you some information about what works, and it's going to give you links to download the files that you'll need. The One Plus phone has two slots, slot A, slot B, so it lets you install two different OSs at the same time. Now, one thing to keep in mind that is not mentioned here is that you may want to back up your phone and back up any images or data that you need because this is definitely going to wipe your device. If this guide is followed correctly, we'll preserve your existing Android system and all your data. So pretty much disregard all that. Thankfully, when I did this, I saved all my data, so I didn't lose anything. So the files that you will need are downloading Android 9 Pi because you're going to need to downgrade if you're using Android 10. Then you're going to need two different TWRP versions if you wish to dual boot. So you'll want to download this either enchilada or fajita depending on your device. But you're also going to need one for Android 9 here. You're also going to need the target.zip file which is the Ubuntu Touch installer. And then you're also going to need to download the kernel and all these files you can get in this GitHub page. So I'll be linking this in the description. Now that you have those five files downloaded, it's actually time to set your phone into fast boot. On this particular device, to do that, you typically have to hold the power button and the volume down. And once you hold it for like 10 seconds or so, you'll be taken into a menu. Since this is the very first time I've had my phone unlocked, I get this menu and I can just click to confirm that I want to have my phone unlocked. Looks like I'll lose my warranty, but that's okay. I'll take one for the team. And I actually think this is the moment that my phone was wiped unexpectedly. Eventually you'll get to this screen and this is where the fun begins. So the first step is to boot into slot A of this OnePlus phone. And this is assuming you have Android 10 installed currently. And this is why you're using TWRP-3.4 because that's the one specific for Android 10. Once you run that command, you'll be booted into this menu that you see here. And once you're on this main screen, make sure you swipe to allow modifications or else I believe you're going to get an error when you try the next step here. You're going to go back to the terminal and run the adb push command. And this is so you can move the Android 9 zip file into a folder called SD card. And then back to your phone in the TWRP menu, go to install and choose the Android 9 i.zip file that you just moved over. So even though you booted into slot A, it will actually automatically install into slot B, as you can see there. Once the installation is complete, go to the reboot menu and pick bootloader, then hit reboot. Once you reboot, you may actually get booted into the Android 9 that you just installed. But just like before, press the power button and the volume button and you'll be back into fast boot mode. But now you're going to be switched over to slot B. The next step will be to flash Ubuntu Touch. Instead of running the TWRP 3.4 command, you're going to run fast boot boot TWRP 3.3. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. The next step says to flash Ubuntu Touch, but this is where we're going to have to take a little detour. First, you're going to want to boot into TWRP 3.3 so that you can boot into slot B. But before we can install Ubuntu Touch, you're going to want to go to wipe and you're going to see that it's going to say, hey, if we wipe data on this slot B here, it's going to unencrypt the drive. And that's good. That's exactly what we want. Once it does the wipe, you may have to go back to the fast boot menu. And so once we've done that, now we can move on to step two to actually flash Ubuntu Touch. So once again, boot into TWRP 3.3, and then you can copy the Ubuntu Touch installer to ADB push target.zip. It does say to install it again on the SD card folder, but I kind of did it a much longer way because this was before I wiped plot B to get it to unencrypt. So I ended up putting it in a different folder so, I mean, you could try it on SD card and see if it works. You may have to install it in a different folder, maybe one that is not encrypted. But this is where things may look a little bit different for you. 
and then you can just install it from the menu in TWRP. And you'll install the zip file the same way you did the Android 9 zip file. You'll just tap it and then slide to install. Once it installs, it's going to reboot again. Again, sometimes you may get rebooted into Android 9. Once you get back into Fastboot, now it's time to flash the kernel. And you'll do that by running fastboot flash boot holium dash boot dot image. Once you've ran that command and you do another reboot, now is where you should see Ubuntu Touch booting up for you. Things may not go as smoothly for you, but I'm hoping these guides and this video will be very helpful. As you can see, this process was somewhat complicated. So let me know if you're planning on installing Ubuntu Touch or any other Linux distro on your Android phone. Share your thoughts in the comments below of how that goes. If you did find this video helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.